I loaded this picture into Photoshop Elements 12 and what I want to do is remove this area here or tone it down. Now there's many different ways of doing this. I'm going to go through just a couple of examples of how I deal with an area like this. bring up the navigator here and let's increase this a little bit. Uh, let's go to the select tool and I like to use the magic wand tool although these other tools are just as useful and we've got the magic wand tool set up at 67 so I'm going to click on this and we didn't get everything. Uh, I'm going to hold down the shift key and notice that the positive symbol comes up. That means we're going to add to it. Also down here, this symbol here means we're going to add to this. So click on this. That's pretty good grab a little bit more here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Well, let me go back to layers here. We've got our marching ants here, our selection. And let me bring up an empty layer here. The reason why I did that, now these marching ants are in the empty layer here. Let me turn off the background. You can see the marching ants here. And we can fill that with a color. Let's see. Fill selections. Color. And of course you can choose from the palette if you want. But I'm going to take this sniffer and choose a color. And we'll take it from this tree right here. Use that color and fill that in. Okay. Now it's just that layer right there. Of course, that's a little dark. And you can do things like change the opacity. Also, another effective way to blend that in would be to use blur. I like to use Gaussian blur. And this technique can be pretty effective in, you know, toning down you know, like, you know, something like a window or something like that. We can do something a little bit better here. Let me trash this. We still have our selection. I need to move this up a little bit here. Actually, I need to make the picture a little bit smaller here. That looks good. What I want to do is use this selection, but I want to grab an area out of here and then move it back down here. Now notice we still have the magic wand tool. That's very important. If I would change tools, that would lock this in. And we don't want to do that. So I'm going to use the up arrows here and move our marching ants over here. And I think that's good enough. We'll, we'll take that right there. I'm going to go up to layers. Let me move this back here to layers so you can see what happens over here new layer 
be a copy. Okay, we've got a new layer here. Doesn't look like anything happened. Okay, I can get rid of the magic wand here. I'll go up to the pointer. And let me turn off the background. See, we have used that selection to grab that piece of land. Now I'm just going to arrow it down. And over. And already it's hiding it pretty good. Go back to Navigator and let's bump this up. Hand tool. There we go. Go back to the pointer so I can move it around. Okay, well that's definitely got the general shape of what we want, but not quite big enough, so arrow that down, uh, there we go. I'm going to go to scale here, and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit uh, by about say 20%. Oops, wrong way. I don't want that much. Let's see here. There we go. And let's see here. Yeah, I think that'll I think that'll be all right. Let's see here. I need to do a little erasing right here, so I'll grab that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and apply that change. 43% on the tool. And we'll bring these trees back here. And we'll just carefully erase softening those edges. Mm. That's all right, I'll come back and get that a little later. Let's see, we got a tree here we need to bring back in. It brings back those rocks a little bit too. Some trees there. Okay, it's getting really hard to see that layer. Okay, I want to tone down this just a little bit and these two spots here. So I'm going to grab the clone tool. And I'm going to grab this right here. Hit the Alt key and click. And you can see what it's going to look like ahead of time here. And it looks all right. And let me. Do the undo button here. I'm going to make that tool a little bit smaller. 
this uh, right bracket. I could also use the slider down here. And I'm going to choose a little lighter color here. Alt key, choose that color. All I want to do is tone it down a little bit. Oops. Didn't mean to do that part. Let me grab a little bit darker color. There we go. change the opacity of that also. Smooth out that. There we go. Now, we erased over the trees. Let's make sure. Yeah. I think we're done. Let me bring this back and you would never know that that was not there originally. About 50% is what I use to determine what it's going to look like when I print it. Let me go back to the layers here. Let me turn off that layer. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And when I take something like this to the printer, me, I like to give them one layer. And you can do that. Uh, and it's important to have all the layers, the top layer you want, the last one, uh, to be flattened. In other words, I've only got two here, but let's say that we had 20. Okay, and if you want all 20, you always go up to the top. If you go somewhere in the middle, it'll flatten up to that point and make that, but I want everything here. So we're at the top. Oops, didn't want to change the name. And the command for that is shift control alt e and what it's doing is merging those levels together and when it's done it'll make a new layer above layer one with both layers merged together <coughs> There we go. I can now click that off and click that off. And now this is part of the picture here. Thanks for watching.